Welcome to CBT News with Cheyenne Malone. Good morning and welcome to the CBT News Daily Newscast. I'm Cheyenne Malone. Thanks so much for joining us today. Here with today's top automotive headlines is Chris Riggins. Thanks, Cheyenne. On today's show, we're pleased to welcome back Matt Easton, expert sales coach and founder of Easton University. But first... The Tesla Cybertruck made its long-awaited debut during a live stream event on X, formerly known as Twitter, at Tesla's Gigafactory in Austin, Texas. Tesla's website lists the base model rear-wheel drive Cybertruck just north of $60,000 and a premium Cyber Beast version at nearly $100,000 with deliveries beginning next year. An all-wheel drive Cybertruck will also be offered starting in 2025. Tesla introduced its Cybertruck design back in 2019, but production of the early Cybertruck models only started July of this year. In the interim, rival companies such as Ford, GM, and Rivian have started selling their own electric pickup trucks. The Biden administration unveiled new EV tax credit regulations on Friday that aim to limit Chinese imports but may hinder the transition to EVs in the U.S. The new rules mandate that a vehicle will lose its tax credit eligibility if any of its suppliers have connections to China, including parts production or 25% board control. This comes after a prior Treasury rule restricted many European, Japanese, and South Korean automakers from receiving the tax credit. The impact on the number of eligible EVs remains uncertain as the new rules take effect in January. In November, Hyundai Motor America reported record-breaking total sales of 70,079 units, up 11% from November 2022, marking the 16th consecutive month of sales growth. Notably, Hyundai set total sales records for several models, including Ioniq 5, Santa Fe, Santa Fe HEV, Tucson, Tucson Plug-in, and Palisade. Retail sales for November reached 58,027 units, a 3% year-over-year increase with eco-friendly sales up 42%. SUVs accounted for 82% of retail sales. Hyundai also recently announced a strategic partnership with Amazon and revealed the 2024 Santa Fe. Austin-based Freedom Solar recently completed a 10,000 solar panel installation project for Group 1 Automotive. Ryan Ferrero, Freedom Solar Power's National Automotive Manager, stated in a news release, quote, Going solar is rapidly becoming a movement in the automotive industry. Dealerships often have ample roof area to accommodate solar arrays powerful enough to offset a large percentage of their energy cost, end quote. Group One plans to extend solar installations to 25 dealerships by the end of 2024, though the exact locations remain undisclosed. Don't go anywhere. Up next, Matt Easton explains the power of asking the right questions and how to have better conversations personally and professionally. We'll be right back. Well, if you're not already subscribed to CBT News, now is the perfect time to do it. For over a decade, CBT has brought you exclusive and in-depth interviews with dealer principals, OEM executives, industry analysts, and top-level sales and management trainers. Join the thousands of automotive professionals that rely on CBT News for the insights that drive profits and maximize the bottom line. Subscribe today. Oftentimes, what we ask someone is far more powerful than what we tell them. Matt Easton, founder of Easton University Sales Coaching System, joins us to share a few of his power questions to help you have a better conversation, get what you want, and succeed in business and in life. Matt, thank you so much for joining us on the show once again. Thank you so much for having me, Jim. And this is one of those things, they've got a friend that's a nerd in sales, if they watch the network here religiously, that I lay in bed at night thinking about, so you guys, uh, the viewers out there, don't have to. And this is so important, and yet, we almost go our whole lives without figuring this out. Every conversation that you're having, Jim, whether that's with a customer, whether that's with a prospect, whether that's with a loved one or even a friend, there's actually three, one, two, three voices going on. And what I mean by that is the obvious, there's your voice. Mm -hmm. And if you're in sales, unfortunately, you haven't been trained by me. You're doing most of the talking. The <laughs> second right. voice, <laughs> the second voice, and the one that people don't think about, Jim, is there's the voice inside the person that you're talking to's head. Yeah. Right. And right. if you think about that, is you're going to make a decision, whether that's 
to buy a vehicle or do business with a small business or even back when you asked your wife out on a date, there was an inner monologue going on in your head thinking, oh my gosh, is now the time right? Should I ask her this? What should I say? And the more the other person is talking, the harder it is for the person you're talking to, to have that inner monologue. And the third voice is, of course, the obvious one. That's the voice of your customer, your prospect, your loved one, sure. or the person you want to have lunch with. So in sales and in life, we're exponentially more likely to get our way if the other person says, if they volunteer, if it's their idea, imagine that, to do the thing we want them to do. And be sure to watch the full-length interview right here at cbtnews.com. Well, that does it for our show today, but we do invite you right back here tomorrow morning on cbtnews.com. Remember, you can stay up to date with the most recent news and trends influencing the retail automotive industry by following us on TikTok, LinkedIn, Facebook, and X, formerly known as Twitter. I'm Cheyenne Malone, on behalf of all of us here at CBT News, see you next time. CBT News, your number one resource for auto industry news and content.